So I don't know how this has happened, but there seems to be a portion of the people who use ZSH, or at least a portion of the people who use ZSH who watch my channel, who don't seem to understand the difference between things like prompts, themes, your plugin manager, a plugin, and basic things like that. So today, that's what I'm going to be explaining. So if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm aiming for a thousand subs and any help be really appreciated. So now that's out of the way, let's get started. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So first thing you might be asking is, Brody, why does it matter what things are called? So the reason why this actually matters isn't because I care what they're called, it's so that you guys will have a much easier time actually finding information on these things. So if you're say trying to find information about a plugin manager for ZSH and you think that it's not a plugin manager, like oh my Z show, you think it might be like a prompt or a theme or something like that. If that's the idea you have in your head, then it's going to be much harder for you to find information on that when you actually try to search for it and use the wrong search terms. So that's basically the reason why I wanted to get this cleared up. So let's just jump over to my main screen and basically have a look at my terminal. So the terminal itself is made up of a couple of different parts. So right up here, this thing right here, this, you're probably not going to have it. This is just NeoFetch. We don't need to care about that. I'm just running that as the first command in my ZSHRC. So the parts that you're gonna have will be this prompt here, and basically the shell and also the, I don't think actually has a proper name, the prompt command input section. It probably has a proper name, but all this together is kind of the prompt. So the prompt is going to basically show you things like your path, your git status, things like that. Things that, like let's just go into a repo for example. So in here with my prompt, I've got my git status as well as a couple of other things. So the default prompt you'll probably have will be a PS1 prompt and that won't have this stuff in it unless you put it in there yourself. So there are other prompts that you can install besides the one that I have. So I have Spaceship installed. There are other prompts like things such as, for example, Pure. And this is another prompt that's fairly similar to Spaceship. But there's other ones, like as I said, you can use a standard PS1 prompt, which is what you'll see on very basic terminals that just have, usually it's a bracket with like the host name and the, I don't know, maybe the path, and that's pretty much it. And the confusion that comes up is when you start using things like ZSH. So ZSH is a plugin manager. So this is very similar to another thing by the name of of a configuration framework. I don't have one open right now, I believe. Oh no, I do. Presto. So Presto calls itself a configuration framework. And oh my ZSH calls itself a, basically a, I don't think it even calls itself a plugin manager really. It is a plugin manager though. So you generally come across these two different terms. So what they mean is the exact same thing. So a plugin manager or a configuration framework is a way to easily install plugins. And usually they'll come with ways to also upgrade your plugins and easily delete them. Basically what they'll do is they will know where to actually put plugins to actually have them so they'll run properly. And if you don't use a plugin manager like I don't, I'm gonna do a video on why I don't think you should be running oh my ZSH or really any of the plugin managers, but we'll save that for a separate video. So if you don't use one of these, then you'll have to manually keep your plugins up to date, and you have to manually make sure your programs go into the right place so they'll be run properly as plugins. But apart from that, that's what a plugin manager does. Now a plugin manager isn't your prompt and it isn't your theme. So the confusion that comes up is that when you install something like Oh My ZSH, or you install ZGen, or you install Presto, they come with themes and they come with plugins installed. So the confusion that arises then is some people then conflate Oh my ZSH with their terminal color scheme. So this is the color scheme that I'm actually running on my terminal. This is usually defined somewhere like ST does it in its own configurations, but a lot of terminals will do it within a file called the X resources file. So that's done on terminals like URXVT. Kitty also does its own sort of one. I actually spelled that file incorrectly. That's why it didn't show up. Dot X. I'm in the wrong directory. That is why that didn't show up actually. <laughs> okay, so this is how you would configure it for something like URXVT. 
and a lot of other programs will use this file. A lot of terminals will also have their own colors defined within them. And then a lot of the time you can actually have programs that will overwrite those colors. And that I believe is how OhMyZSH does its color scheming. OhMyZSH may come with things like themes installed and you may be able to install new themes, but the themes themselves aren't directly connected to OhMyZSH. And the easiest way to show that is with things like Zgen, where you can actually install all of your OhMyZSH plugins through Zgen. So if we look at this line right here, so you can actually load everything from OhMyZSH into Zgen, which is effectively running a plugin manager inside of plugin manager, which just hurts my head. You can do the same thing to Presto and probably other general, yeah, you can do that with other plugin managers as well. So this confusion arises because of things like this, where you have plugin managers being loaded within plugin managers. You have plugin managers that come with default plugins. So people conflate the two. So if you were to say, run oh my zsh there's no reason why you can't then move all of those plugins and all of those themes over to something like zgen or over to something like presto or antigen or any of the other zsh plugin managers because in the end all you're actually doing is defining a way to load up plugins for zsh so in the end everything has to be compatible with zsh so they might have their own slight syntax differences but some plugins might be designed directly to work with OhMyZSH's structure for loading plugins, but generally you can just load them between the different plugin managers. So the other important thing is what is a plugin? And this is another thing that OhMyZSH very loosely defines. So if you look at the plugin list for OhMyZSH, there are some plugins that are literally a like two line alias. So Technically, it's a plugin, but this is going to be part of the reason why I don't like OmoZSH. So a plugin is basically a way to extend the functionality of another program. So whether that be by defining aliases or doing syntax highlighting or doing things like, let's say, transmission, doing things like telling you what aliases you have or various other things like that. Like say if we run MUT, it'll tell me which package that can be found in. That's also a plugin. So these aren't features that are found within ZSH by default. These are extensions added onto it. So a plugin is another word for an extension basically. So I think that's pretty much everything for that. I don't really need to go over what a shell is. That's I don't think anyone misunderstands what a shell is if you're using ZSH. If you're using ZSH, on a system that has bash installed, you at least have that understanding. The shell is what you use to actually execute commands. Your terminal isn't the shell, your terminal will load up a shell, and then the shell itself is what actually parses these commands. So if I pass in the word like ls, that'll be then passed to my shell and that will run that basically. That's not too important to this, you probably all understand that. Basically, as I've said, your plugin manager isn't something special. Oh my ZSH isn't something special. All of these plugins, as can be shown with Presto and Zgen, and there might even be other plugin managers like that, they're not directly connected to Oh my ZSH. So if you want to run Spaceship, you can run that inside Oh my ZSH, and there's no problem doing that because all Oh my ZSH is doing is managing your plugins. Even though it has some pre installed, all it's doing is managing your plugins, like any other plugin manager any of like the 10 different plugin managers that exist for ZSH. Let's just take one of the plugins that I'm running, ZSH Syntax Highlighting, which will add fish-like syntax highlighting to ZSH. Just an example, just to show that oh my ZSH or any of the plugin managers, whether it be Presto or Zgen, aren't actually doing anything special. So we go down to the install script here, or the install markdown file. We have a look in here. So this is how you'd go about installing that one manually. Most plugins, aren't in that many repos. So that's just a nice thing to have. So if you do want to do manual installation, you can just straight up install it from the AUR if you're on Arch. But what we're going to do is look right in here with a plugin manager. So note the ZSH syntax highlighting must be the last plugin sourced. It doesn't actually have to be. I've had it work just fine without having that. So the ZSH syntax highlighting authors recommend manual installation over the use of a framework or a plugin manager. 
This list is incomplete as there are too many framework or plugin managers to list them all. I didn't realize there were more than the ones that are generally being listed. Anyway, so here we have how you would install it with oh my ZSH. Here's Presto, here's Zgen, here's Zplug, here's Zplugin. So all of these are doing basically the same thing, even if we look at the plugins that were made for oh my ZSH. So you might think, oh, but maybe there's something special about those. And you'll realize in just a second, there's actually not. So oh my ZSH isn't anything special. Let's just have a look at some of the plugins. So we've got AutoEmp here. And if we look at this, it's literally just a ZSH file. So what's actually happening with oh my ZSH is actually sourcing the file. So you can actually do that manually. So if you were to download this file and then just write source autoemp.plugin.zsh, then that will actually do the exact same thing that is actually happening within oh my ZSH. And that's why with something like Presto or Zgen, you can actually load up everything that you'll be actually loading up within oh my ZSH because it's not actually doing anything special. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. None of the plugin managers are anything special. They all do basically the same thing. The only thing that's different really is the sort of syntax and actually how you would write them within your ZSHRC and I guess also the overhead of having that plugin manager. So I think that's pretty much everything that I want to talk about for this video. I don't want to go too much on a rant about oh my ZSH in this video. I will save that for my full video on oh my ZSH. So if you like this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm aiming for a thousand subs and any help be really appreciated. Up on that corner, I've got the playlist this video is in. So go check that out if you want to see other videos like this. Down below, I have got my library. So if you want to see my videos on a platform that isn't YouTube, that's where you'd go for that. I've also got my social links if you want to chat with me and also my support links if you'd like to support the channel. So I think that's pretty much everything for me and I'm out.